Hey guys, today we are going to answer the question, how can I find missing side lengths of similar figures? So remember that the corresponding side lengths of sig similar figures are proportional. So to find a missing side length, we can set up a proportion with equivalent ratios of corresponding sides. So we will set up a ratio of something that we know and set it equal to a ratio with that missing part. Then we can use cross products to solve the proportion for the missing side length. So let's look at number one. It says rectangle WXYZ is similar to rectangle QRST. What is the value of X? So let's identify our corresponding sides. First, WZ would be corresponding to QT since those are both the shorter sides of the rectangle. And then 24 and X would be corresponding as well. And then we need to be consistent in how we're writing our ratio. I like to do new over original because that's also how we find scale factor. So I just keep it consistent. So I'm gonna do new over original with the known part of the proportion, which would be 12 over 18. And then it equals new over original would be X over 24. Okay, I am going to simplify this before I cross multiply to hopefully make the numbers a little bit easier to work with. So 12 and 18 are both divisible by 6. 12 divided by 6 is 2 and 18 divided by 6 is 3. Okay, now these numbers are much easier to work with when I cross multiply. So two times 24 is 48, and then three times X is three X. And then we would divide by three and 48 divided by three is 16. So the missing value of X would be 16. Okay, let's look at number two. It says triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF. What is the value of X? So I actually have more information than I need here. I'm trying to find X and I just need one other set of corresponding sides to set up my proportion and solve. So I'm gonna use the smaller sides here. It looks like E and D correspond to BA. So if I'm doing new over original to set up my proportion, it'll be four over six equals, and then this missing value of X is corresponding with nine. So it'll be X over nine. And then I'm gonna go ahead and simplify this proportion a little bit to make it easier to solve. Um, oh, those are not both divisible by six, sorry. They're divisible by two. So four divided by two is two and six divided by two is three equals X over nine. Okay, now it's a little bit easier to cross multiply and solve. Two times nine is 18 and three times X is three X and then I would divide by three and I get six equals X. Okay, let's look at number three, parallelogram A, B, C, D is similar to parallelogram E, F, G, H. What is the length of A, B? So let's go ahead and label this side length A, B as X, since that's the missing side that I'm looking for. And that is going to correspond with the shorter side of the other parallelogram, which is nine. And then for my known ratio, I'm gonna use AD, which is 12, and that corresponds to FG, which is 18. Okay, now I'm going to label these original and new, and I'm gonna set up my proportion as new over original. So let's start with the known part. It'll be 18 over 12 equals, the new side length is nine and that corresponds with X, so nine over X. Okay, and I'm gonna simplify this ratio a little bit to make the numbers easier to work with. 18 and 12 are both divisible by six. So that ratio simplifies to 18 divided by six is three and 12 divided by six is two equals nine over X. And now I'm gonna cross multiply to solve. Two times nine is 18 and three times X is three X. 
and then I'm going to divide by 3. And 18 divided by 3 is 6. Okay, let's look at number 4. It says find the value of x. So these triangles are sharing this angle and this angle, which automatically makes them share this one. So I know that they are proportional. And if you can't see the triangles I'm talking about, it's this smaller one right here and this larger one right here. So let's see if we can identify some corresponding sides. So this whole side length right there would be 16. So that longer side of the triangle is going to correspond with this one right here of the smaller triangle, which is 6. So 6 and 16 are going to correspond. And then you can see that x and 8 are going to correspond as well. And I will let the smaller triangle be the original one and then the larger triangle be the new one whenever I'm setting up my new over original proportion. So that new longer side length right here is 16 and that corresponds with 6. And then the new side length from the larger triangle would be 8 and that is going to correspond with our missing value of x. Okay, now I'm just going to simplify that first ratio a little bit. Those numbers are both divisible by 2. And I get 8 over 3 equals 8 over x. So if I cross multiply, 3 times 8 is 24. 8 times x is 8x. And then I would divide by 8. So the missing value is 3. All right, let's look at the last one. It says trapezoid D, E, F, G is similar to tra trapezoid H, I, J, K. Which proportion can be used to find the length of H, K? So we're going to go through and figure out which proportion was set up correctly. And I'm going to label them original and new so that I can make sure that they're being consistent in the order with their ratios. So this one did original over new of 5 over 15. And then they did HK. They did new over the original. So they did not keep that order consistent, even though they did use corresponding sides. They put the original and the new, and then HK was the new, and this was the original. So since they didn't keep that order consistent, A is not going to be the answer. All right, let's look at B. So it used 4 and HK which those sides would be corresponding. So they did original over new, and then they did nine over three. So they did new over original. So same thing where they were not being consistent. They did original over new and then new over original. So that can't work either. All right, let's look at C. They did nine over HK, and then they did three over five. So if they were gonna do it that way, they would have had to use the same two corresponding sides, which they did not do. They used these. So this one is not gonna work because they're just, they were not using corresponding parts. Okay, so it must be this last one. Let's look at why. So they did four over three. So shorter side over that top side equals HK, a shorter side over nine. So this time this would work because these side lengths are similar right here and these side lengths are similar right here and they set it up as the shorter side over the longer side. So D is the one that works. They used corresponding parts and they were consistent with their order.